Hello again everyone, this is Aaron from Ohio Bar Hop. Today I am at the Ohio Department of Public Safety Building, and you may be asking yourself, well what in the world does the Ohio Department of Public Safety have to do with the bar and restaurant industry? Well, that's what I'm here to tell you. This is the home to the Ohio Investigative Unit. This is the uh, plain clothes unit of um, the Ohio State Highway Patrol that comes out uh, and enforces uh, liquor laws and such. Uh, at the very beginning of the reopening of uh, bars and restaurants back in May, uh, a lot of restaurants and bars were really just trying to figure out what the new rules are, uh, how they can handle the situation. Uh, most of us in this industry were absolutely trying to do the right thing here, uh, but instead of coming out uh, with the government uh, agencies and trying to help us in the industry uh, make sure we get things right, Governor DeWine decided to take a totally different approach to that and throw the hammer at our industry and send uh, the Ohio Investigative Unit out to bars and restaurants to uh, issue fines and citations to them instead of helping our industry. Uh, totally wrong approach to, to doing this. Uh, it, 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 the first weekend uh, and week that the bars and restaurants were open, several bars and restaurants were hit with these citations and they're like, well, hey, we're just trying to figure out how to do things right and how to do things safely still and you're not helping us. All you're doing is is fining us at this point and writing citations that we have to go before the Ohio Liquor Control Commission uh, to, to answer to. So that was a completely wrong approach to that. Uh, and, and for the record, these guys are still out and about. Uh, they may be walking into your bar or restaurant and uh, throwing the hammer at you guys too. So uh, if you're in the industry, beware. Uh, the government is not on our side right now. They are they are trying to absolutely do everything in their power to uh, to harm our industry right now, and they're using every means uh, of government to do so. Now, another reason I'm here is our industry is being treated very differently from others. So, for instance, uh, in a bar and restaurant, if someone comes into our bar and restaurant and is not wearing a mask or is uh, not socially distancing we can get in trouble for it. If the health department comes in, if the uh, Ohio investigative unit here comes in and sees patrons not following social distancing guidelines or uh, mask guidelines or the rules that were set in place under the Dine Ohio or Sa the Dine Safely Ohio order, uh, we get in trouble as the businesses. Uh, if you go to a Walmart, if you go to a retail store, a gas station, other types of business, if someone walks into that business and is not uh, following those same rules, those businesses do not get in trouble. Uh, this this complete uh, lack of, of cohesion when, when it comes to the rules and how it's applied makes absolutely no sense. The heavy-handed uh, restrictions coming down on the bar and restaurant industry is, is hurting a very already struggling industry. Uh, we're hurting, we're trying to stay in business, we're doing everything we can, and the vast majority of us are trying to do the right thing here, but the government is absolutely not helping us in this endeavor. And uh, in fact, they're, they're imposing fines and sanctions against us that no other business has to face. Uh, as usual, everyone, uh, I am happy to come out to anywhere in the state. Uh, if you are a bar or restaurant owner or if you are a service industry professional that is hurting from the overbearing regulations that are being put on our industry right now, please get a hold of me. You can shoot me a message right here on the Facebook page. Just hit the message button. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Or you can reach me on my phone line at 614-290-7375. Or you can email me at ohiobarhop at gmail.com. So please get a hold of me if you are in the industry here and you are hurting and suffering because of the overbearing regulations uh, and absolutely uh, be aware of what is going on uh, because the undercover units are still going uh, all over the state and they're they're trying to rake in money that we don't have right now so uh, it's time to be careful folks and, and uh, again if you're hurting in this industry get a hold of me I want to be an advocate for you and everyone in this industry in Ohio so uh, thanks for joining me today and we'll see you again soon